Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul? What do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from the things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear. But that didn't help now, did it? It wasn't a bad idea. But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room... Ugh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... So Paul's like a medium or some shit? David? David, where are you? Central Hospital. Why? Why are you over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please. Don't. Just leave me alone. David? Hey, David. Damn it. It'd take about a day to get to that place on a motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David's my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. Huh. David's car. He's gotta still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Oh, do I get to play as Paul now? I do! Whoa! Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? They're not from up these stairs, are they? I don't know. What's going on here? What are we doing? It might be on the clinic side. Or maybe. Hello, David. What are you doing? What are you running around this crazy hospital for? So now, now he's like that batshit crazy homeless guy who, who lives in the hospital. Who's there? What are you doing there? Who the hell is that? A, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what, what the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Oh! Man, what the hell was that? So... Paul really does see ghosts, and I guess he's seeing, um, uh, David's, like, other personalities. I, like, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that next we're gonna meet D, and then, uh, and then Fluffy. Just stabbing, stabbing in the dark right now. Maybe I'll go to the clinic side. Someone else? David? This D. Hey, who are you? Okay. Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on. Save him. Tell him the truth. The truth? What? I'm counting on you. 
Huh? Wait, why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Um, oh, David's probably on the roof. I get it, I get it. But I just, I don't understand how, um, how all the other people tie into it. I, like, I, I understand that David's batshit crazy, and he's seeing, um, like, uh, reflections of himself at certain times in his life, or, or just parts of himself. But, um, the crooked man also is the, uh, the hatred or the rage in him. Um, the, the one that tried to kill this mama. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. A kid? Don't tell me there's a kid wandering around here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which got a crooked mouse. Kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Hey, are you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? That's awesome. So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. Ah, the end of that one came, came a little bit short there. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with him? Why did he know David? Did he meet him here? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion? What's up? Stop it! Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Marion can't see them. Huh, Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I knew there- I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David, no jokes. But Marion... So that's it, huh? Marion? Go and leave the hospital. Sorry for, uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. All right. Please, come back quickly. Right. Oh, shit. Just wait for me, David. Oh shit. Uh actually I need to go this way. Nope, not that way. This way. Vapid is confused. Alright. Down here. I need to go to the roof. Ah, oh, this is getting good, man. I I will forgive that the third chapter and my crazy wandering around everywhere. Cause this is getting good. I really like this. Like a lot. David, what are you doing out there? Open the door. David. Paul? Why are you here? I came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave, stay away. He's got a gun. Holy, no way. Well, I mean, I kind of saw that coming. David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. 
And those are the only things I'll have. Holy balls, no way. David, what is that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David! Oh crap, I have to do things. No! Ah, no, no, no. Um. Pers Take the gun. Why you? Give me that gun. Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that. There we go. Stop. Let go. Just leave me be. Afraid I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop! He probably killed Paul. Huh? What? Wow. Yeah, he killed Paul. That sucks. I picked the wrong thing. Paul. Uh. Did I? Did I just shoot you? I I didn't. No. I really. K killed. No, David. Not your fault. I tr I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. It's not your fault. David, you're not a bad guy. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> Shit! Bad end four, not your fault, David. Okay. Man, even that was really good. Even the bad ending was really, really good. Um, let's go back and, and get the other ones. All right. So we can persuade him or punch the punch him. Um, I'm gonna check out persuade because um, Fluffy told me to tell him something about the truth. So we'll try that, and then I guess maybe I'll uh, I'll try the 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 punch. Ah, fuck it. We'll punch him right now. Huh? Ow! Damn you, monster! Get away from David! What? Are, whoa! Oh, hey! Ow, it's just... Stop! Yeah! That hurts! Stop it, you moron! David, you're back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like hell. If that's the kind of thing you do sane, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, about the stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. Oh, I guess that was the, the good ending then, yeah? Probably. Huh? Sissy. D and Fluffy. And that crooked monster. Oh. So you believe in the monster. That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fantasism. Don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Marion never believe me, sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and Dee wouldn't be here. Listen, David. People's consciousness, they sort of... stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen, and no jokes. So you've had it pretty, pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. 
When I first looked at that place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you. And from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying... He's calling me. Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core, and always sympathize with, sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from the stuff that he left. Plus, that was all stuff you could identify with. So what would you think of a guy who's been... who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him? Or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? Huh. <sighs> he hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He... He helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again. That's you and him being similar. Hmm. What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You come back to us safe. I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Okay, so it actually is a spirit then, I guess. Central Hospital, Paul. Okay. So... So Fluffy, Sissy, and Dee were all... Part of, part of the Crooked Man? I was really hoping that they were like manifestations of, of David. You know what I mean? 